Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Salesforce to Excel in 2024. Integrating Salesforce data with Excel allows you to uh, do some advanced data analysis and also reporting. So today, we will walk you through the simple steps, step-by-step -step guide to set up, of course, this integration very easily. So make sure to stick by, let's dive right into this video and simply let's get started before we start with this video make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience first of course you'll need to go and open a browser for me here i'm using brave for you you can use this you want make sure to go to the crl section and just type salesforce.com and hit the enter button if you have a problem in the language you can simply change the url uh, type here if you're if you're from europe or you can simply go to this icon right here and if you're from America or Europe and Africa or Asia, you can simply select wherever your region here. For me, I'll just select from here all other countries. As you can see, the language serves in English. So now you can just hover login and click on Salesforce and make sure to log in into your account if you have one. If you don't have one, all you need to do is just click on try it for free and answer some few questions, which is nine questions in total, and you'll be able to create your account. You'll get 30 days free trial and no obligations and no payments and no credit card required. So you'll just have to fill up your information and you'll have access into it. Of course, you can even have access to a sales uh, force demo if you want to. You can just go and try it out before uh, creating your account and start using your 30 days free trial. For example, you'll have access to a demo where you can try out stuff. Simply just go and fill up those informations and you should be good to go. And of course, you would like to have Excel downloaded into your uh, PC. Make sure to have that as well. As an example, I'll just go here and click on new blank. And as you can see, it's downloaded for me. Make sure it has if it is downloaded for you as well. If it's not, as an example, if we go back to our browser, if we just go here and type Excel, as an example, we'll be able to use it online. Of course, you can simply just go and just log in into an account. As an example, just go and sign in into an account if you have one. If you don't have one, you'll need to go and create a new one. Uh, as an example, just go and log in into your account and you'll have access to the Excel online. It's up to you. So for me, as an example, in here, in Excel, we if we would like, of course, as we said, to connect it into Salesforce. Normally, for connection, I would use like a tool like Zapier or Automate.io or something like that. But as you can see, why I'm using those like third party tools? Because it does not just connect two things with each other, but it also automates stuff for you. So if I go here to this list panel and click on apps, I'll just go here and look for, as example, apps as Salesforce. As you can see, I'll find it. But about Excel, I don't know if I'll find it. I'm not very sure. So that's why I'm not using this uh, option. So never mind. It seems like it's in here. So, okay, I'll show you even an option how you can do it with Zapier because it's actually very, very useful because this will let you also automate stuff between the two of them. I did not expect they will add Excel because it was not the last time I was here. So as an example, once you open Zapier, of course, you'd like to, if it's your first time, basically, you'll be taken to a page like this. You can simply just go and log in into an account if you have an account. By any chance, if you don't have an account, you can click on sign up. Make sure to use Google. As an example, if you don't want to go through all the more steps of creating, even logging into your account, you'll also get a 14 days free trial of premium features and apps. And after that, you can use just the free option. And as you can see, free for, uh, forever for core features. Once you log in, you'll find yourself in the home. So just go to this list panel, as we said, click on apps in here, and you'll have to look for both, as an example, Excel. So just go and look for Microsoft Excel and click on connect. And as you can see in here, you'll have to log in into your account right away. So if that's your account, just click on it and log in into it. If it's not, just click on use another account and make sure, for example, to log in into that account. For example, so I'll just go here, enter those informations. And as you can see, this will give full access to the file and read your profile, maintain access and access drive. So if you agree to all of that, just go and click on accept. And the same, of course, will be for uh, like Salesforce. So here, once it's connected, you'll have to go back to apps, go and look for Salesforce, go in here and click on connect. And basically, you'll have to fill up all in the information that they're telling you. So example, first of all, you need to choose the environment. Are you using just sandbox or a production? Normally, it's going to be production. Then click on use continue. Then you'll have to simply sign in into your account with username and password. Click on login and you should be connected into your account. For me, my free trial is ended, so I'll not be able to log in into an account. So once you do so, now you go to this list panel, click on zaps in here. 
And of course, here you would like to click on create or basically just click here on create at the top left corner, then click on zaps and it will take you to the same place. Here you can start choosing the trigger and the action in the event of the trigger and the action that you're trying to do with this connection and automate it. Of course, you can even use this AI, which will help you for me. Still, I don't know what I want to automate. So I'll just go and type as example, connects Excel. So Excel to sales force as example. So to sales force, as simple as that. So like that and hit the enter button. As you can see, it will create the trigger and the action, the events of the trigger and the action for me. It will create basically everything for me. I can simply click and add all the steps in here. So it's everything will be added. So of course, for you, you can start changing, like example, the event. So as example here, if you get a new row or a new row table, new uh, worksheets or something like that, Salesforce and Salesforce, it will create a record. It will create a file record, it creates a contact campaign, or you can do the opposite. If something happens in Salesforce, something should be happening in Excel. You can like switch whatever you want. So what you'll need to do, just fix like those uh, options or those triangles, as you can see. So we have here, as example, in Excel, uh, we still did not uh, choose the trigger correctly because on the event, we choose a new row. So here, the storage source is going to be, as example, OneDrive or a lot of options that you can have here. Folders, example, you'll have to choose a folder. Then the spreadsheets, of course, you'll need to go and enter that. Then, of course, once you solve this, you'll have to go to the test. Same will be for Salesforce. Log into your account, choose the action and test set. Once it tests it, you'll find the check option on both of them. Then you can publish it. And, of course, it will be connected and automate the stuff that you choose here. You can do multiple stuff and multiple apps to connect multiple stuff and automate multiple stuff however you want. If you want to connect it right away from the Excel, of course, you can simply just go here to data. And basically in here, once you click on data, you can simply just choose from web. And let's just wait a little bit, of course, once it's work. And of course, we'll basically have to go and get the URL of the data that we will have in our, of course, like uh, Salesforce, as simple as that. We have it as an example also in uh, like uh, uh, a picture. You can simply just go and get the data from a picture. And as you can see from a file, from database example, you have here a lot of database like server, Microsoft Access, analysis, a lot of things as you can see here from Azure, from like some uh, power platforms, from online services example, like even here you have Salesforce objects and reports example. You can simply just connect this right away from here, just go into Lexus. And of course, as you can see, it's production or custom. So it's gonna be production you'll have, of course, to click on okay, and then simply just sign in, click on sign in, and you'll be able to sign into your Salesforce and retrieve whatever data you want. So that's gonna be it for me today. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. So goodbye.